12 men would eventually walk the surface of the moon. The crew selection process had begun as early as 1962. Finally, these missions were scheduled to begin. The man in charge of the astronauts was Deke Slayton, director of flight crew operations. Slayton was one of the original seven astronauts of Mercury, but had never flown. Several weeks before his launch, doctors discovered an intermittent irregular heartbeat and grounded him. Ironically, he would now decide the lineup of each Apollo mission. During the summer of 1994, 15 of these men gathered as guests of honor at the Experimental Aircraft Association's annual fly-in convention in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. They talked frankly about the risks and joys of the program. It was a time of celebration, the 25th anniversary of the first moonwalk. Unfortunately, the risks had become apparent right from the start. The first step to the moon had been a horribly painful lesson. During a routine ground test of Apollo 204, or Apollo 1 as it was later designated, astronauts Virgil Gus Grissom, the second American in space, Ed White, and rookie Roger Chaffee were killed when a flash fire destroyed their capsule. Well, on January the 27th and 67, we lost three uh, good friends and astronauts in a fire, the first real tragedy that had occurred in the uh, space program. NASA at that time was a gung-ho outfit. Uh, we had, uh, had not had serious setbacks, and it, it stunned the organization because uh, we had allowed a lot of hydrocarbons to creep into an environment that was 100% oxygen. A 14-volume report released after the accident speculated that a malfunction in the electrical system was the cause of the fire. In the pressurized, oxygen-saturated cabin, a spark spelled disaster. We knew we had trouble with that spacecraft. It was the first one, uh, but no one expected this, particularly in a test on the pad. But I, I, am, I um, am always amazed at how the uh, organization got its act together, and uh, it, it was a remarkable turnaround. Uh, I was part of the investigative authority. It was also, I think, one of the most candid reports to uh, Congress ever made. We, we just got up there and said, look, we made a mistake, a big mistake, and it cost three lives. Uh, but we think we understand it now, and, and we want to go forward, and, and it worked out that way. It was uh, a fact of life that it was a dangerous business, and three people got killed, and, and, and uh, that we went on from there. Twenty months later, after several unmanned test launches, Apollo 7 was ready. The command capsule had been completely redesigned. The mission, extensive Earth orbit evaluation of the command service module, was crucial to American confidence. The commander was Wally Shira. Don Isley was the command module pilot. And although no lunar module was attached, Walter Cunningham's official designation was lunar module pilot. A veteran of both Mercury and Gemini, Wally Shira was the only astronaut to fly all three programs. Five, four, in the Apollo program, uh, Walt and Don Isley and I had to pick up after losing the three men on the launch pad, and it was a tough one. Uh, we had to make the spacecraft work. I had announced before the flight, not many people remember that, that I was leaving the space program. Because they had no other, no other flight scheduled, I could see in the future. Uh, the object of Apollo 7 was to perform all of the checkout of all the spacecraft systems and fly a mission that hopefully would be of a duration as long as the longest planned, then planned, uh, lunar landing, which was 11 days. Uh, and I have to tell you that the spacecraft was uh, fantastic. Uh, we had no real problems. Uh, it was good enough so we could commit Apollo 8 on uh, a flight around the moon. Uh, it did go 11 days. I think it, uh, to this day it's probably the uh, most ambitious uh, first flight uh, of any new spacecraft, and it came through with flying colors. If Shira harbored fears that the project would be canceled, he helped dispel them with the crew's efforts and with the pronouncement that Apollo 7 was a first-class spacemobile. Tests included eight burns of the propulsion system, 
all were perfect textbook operations. A distinctive feature introduced during Apollo 7 was live telecasts from space. These broadcasts would become important to Americans during the missions that followed. The crew received a special Emmy Award for their first practical television transmissions from space. Roger, good morning to everyone in television land. You're looking at the right-hand portion of...